Oh, what's the good marks? It's probably something that I will get later on. When I actually play it. How do I go back? Uh... I can't go back. Oh, that would... Oh my god. There we go. Close bookmarks. Rain begins. Uh, have you watched Victorious? Uh, I have like a very long time ago. Uh, I haven't watched the whole thing. I just... I've watched like bits and pieces of it. Like every couple of episodes that I would find on TV. But I was very young. Um... Yeah, basic RPG maker stuff. Chapter 1. Oh god, how many chapters are there, actually? What about Cars 2? Uh, I have not seen Cars 2. I've seen Cars 1. But I haven't seen any of the sequels. On the day I heard my parents had died. It was raining terribly hard. Why does the eye look like that? Why is it blacked out? A traffic accident, I was told. Once I heard the voicemail, I rushed to the hospital. But it was too late. I wasn't able to see my parents' final moments. A small service was held in the pouring rain. With just me and the funeral parlor stuff. That's how my parents said they wanted it. My parents had cut ties with the rest of our family, so there was nobody else to invite. The only sound was the battering rain. I stood there alone in the empty funeral home, overcome by an indescribable loneliness. It was like a black hole had formed at my feet, waiting to swallow me up. The day my parents had, uh, the day my parents died. Why do some of the fonts mess up? It's like the Pocket Mirror remake had like this weird thing with the font that would sometimes, that would sometimes like fuck up. The day my parents died. Also happened to be my birthday. I'm sure we would have celebrated my acceptance into university on the same day too. They were probably even more excited about it than I was. Actually, I'm fairly certain, judging by the present that was in their wrecked car. Oh, I fell asleep. Damn, we tall. That is at least at least six foot. I don't know which movies that has bad words. Uh, you you might want to look away then. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if this game has any bad words, but I know that I will probably drop an f bomb. Can't stay like this. I need to get a hold of myself. Okay. I'll do some cleaning up today. What about cars? Oh, never mind. Looks like a photo album. But it's locked and can't open it. I've never seen an album like this before. I'll just leave it here. But I'm a little curious. It's full of books that mom and dad liked. Accident report. Uh, 
Can I see the accident report? An antique clock that's a little out of place. The pendulum is set to is set with a dull looking stone. It's already midnight. I've been dragging my feet too long. For the past couple of days, I've just been having like I've just been looking at the time and realizing, oh my god, it's already 7 a.m. When did that happen? Um Aquapedia items. Oh, never mind. I, so can I not check the accident report? Um, Aquapedia. What is this? Like a fish? Fish encyclopedia? Because those movies are R18, had bad... Yeah, and... Cremation authorization form. Quasi-final income tax return. Inheritance tax declaration. Oh. I should take the funeral clothes I borrowed from mom to, to the cleaners. Just a little more cleaning for today. All which movies are family friendly. Yeah. And... What is this? A file full of life insurance form. Alright, I'll put this on the bookshelf. So, here. Little books that mom and dad liked. A small key falls out of a gap in the bookshelf. Small key obtained. What is this key for? And why is it here? It's almost like it was hidden here. Um... I leave? Could this key be for... For? Window? The residential streets are empty this late at night. Oh, is it for the diary? Is it this one? Photo album, yeah. I think I have the key. Open it right away. Opening it now might be hard on me. Do it, you puss. Open. It's full of old photos. Wow. Mom and Dad look so young. Huh? There's a blank page. It looks like part of the album is missing. The photos from when I was young have been taken out. Let me check the other pages. Ah, what time is it? Huh? The clock is ticking. The clock has stopped. I doubt I can fix it. I'm not too good with delicate machinery. I have to take it to get repaired. I'm feeling tired. I'll just lock up and go to sleep. Oh. Fun. What's over here? Some university notes and textbooks, as well as some makeup, have been left out. Some uni- Oh. Um. It's a basketball. And trophy from when I was on the team in high school. Oh, damn. Got a sporty one over here. It's, a, it's cloudy, and not a single star is visible. Like, even the sky is going to shed tears tonight. Oh, I haven't locked up yet. I'll check the windows in the front door. There's a bunch of skincare products, but I 
don't have the motivation to use them. The night light is glowing softly. It's a stuffed toy that I got as a birthday present a long time ago. Where is shows next to like Carly, Sam, and Cat? Uh, leave. And many big time Russian others. Those are all like Nick shows, right? It's locked shut. The flowers are wilting. I should replace them soon. Shoebox is filled with all all of our shoes. Uh, is that shoeboxes? Uh. It's locked shut. Okay. Oh, right. I should clean this up tomorrow. <laughs> oh my fucking god. It looks like someone was just... cooking. It's like time in the house has stopped. It's locked shut. Three colors of dishes neatly stacked together. The expired food needs to be thrown out soon. The food has been arranged nicely, but it's all gone bad already. All of my favorite dishes. Damn. That's sad. More than... <laughs> If there's one thing sadder than her losing her parents, it's the dish is going bad. <laughs> I go to sleep now. I haven't locked up yet. Check the windows on the front door. I already checked the front door, so I guess I need to check the windows. Um, it's got it, and a single star is visible, even, yeah. Already checked that. Can I sprint? Oh, I can. That makes things so much easier. Um, uh, are there any other windows? Oh, I guess I haven't checked over here, if there's anything here. Oh, yes, there is. It's locked shut. All locked up. Time for bed, then. I see myself in the mirror. Mom's funeral clothes look a little too big. My face in the mirror looks a little tired. It's full of dirty clothes. I'll have to do laundry tomorrow. There are towels and other daily essentials on the shelf. The pink and blue bath towels were gifts I gave to my parents. Wait. Real quick. No, okay. I already checked here. Time for bed. This is the one thing I don't do in real life. I just go to sleep. I was suddenly all alone. Looking at that album, it did feel even more real. I couldn't remember what was on the blank what was on the blank pages. My memories of my childhood have always been mysteriously hazy. 
I don't know everything about myself. And I can't ask my parents since they're gone. I wish that someone could have could have come to my parents' funeral at least. I think I want to find out more about my roots. But there is no longer anyone in this world who really knows me. And that fact is very isolating. Why can't I remember? Why? 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 Come now, come over here, my sweet, sweet child, come child, come fulfill your promise, the promise that you broke in two shall be repaid with time and loss, but for now, I'm stuck in the abyss, when the right time comes. Come now, my sweet, sweet child, and give me all you have. You can never escape. Never. Not ever. I was stuck in the abyss is such a banger. <laughs> I just saw end for now, and I just had to say it. Or but for now. The clock is chiming. The clock was stopped earlier. It's now chiming non stop. Why? I need to stop the noise. Let me. Oh. Huh? What? I managed to stop it, but I think I broke it. That was too rough. And now, the stone in the clock fell off. Huh? It looks like something else fell out of the pendulum along with the stone. Next to the stone that fell out is what looks like a photo. Why is this here? The picture of my parents, my younger self, and an unfamiliar elderly man. There's something small written on the back. It looks like mom's handwriting. Azakawa village. Kenji's father. Kenji, me, and Shiori. There's something else written down, but it's smudged and illegible. Mom, dad, and me. Then, is this other person in this photo my grandfather? After that, I only got busier and busier. Official papers to turn in, assets to transfer. It was all so confusing. What kept me busy? Well, but what kept me busy the most were all the part-time jobs I took on to make a living. The inheritance my parents left me was all used up to pay for t tuition. I spent every day cramming for graduation, and the rest of my time doing paperwork or working. Schoolwork and the whole process kept me busy enough to forget my grief. But once I'd reached a stopping point with the paperwork, summer had come, along with the holidays. I suddenly had a break. Summer break in university, dra in university drags on forever, which should have been great. But for me, 
it only made things more depressing. Everywhere I looked in the house was a reminder of my parents. One day, I happened to glance at the photo I found in the clock. The person in that photo was probably my grandfather. I kept staring at it, and I thought... And that thought made all the loneliness I thought I'd gotten used to come crashing back down on me. I wanted to see him, or at least try. I wanted to talk to him and ask him things too. I quickly went and withdrew that what little savings I had from working. I used my summer break to try and find a place in that photo. And right now, I'm sitting on a train. Bound for Azakawa Village. Finally, I reached the station. The sun's strong today. There's no one else here. I'm pretty sure heading up to the village will also take some time. I just left without taking much luggage, but... They probably have a convenience store or something, right? Uh, where's the bus stop? Oh, it's right there. But before that, let me check. It's full of juice bottles with a weird name you don't see in the city. With so many nature with so much nature around, maybe it's 100% juice. Wow, that's a lot of artificial sweetener. Full of juice bottles with weird names don't see in the city. Cannot interact with this. A trash can, but since not many people use it, it remains fairly empty. Where's over here? The timetable is posted here, but very few trains are still running. It's a poster for a festival. Looks like it'll be in three days. If I just run... The road continues on with nothing in sight. Doesn't seem like it's an easy walk. The road continues... Alright. Wait for the bus. The bus for Azakawa Village is in three hours. Nothing else to do but wait, I guess. It's really taking its time. It's still not here. I don't think the bus is coming. Wonder if I can make if I can make it to the village on foot. A police car. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh well the bus isn't coming. Bus? Not enough people used it, so it was decommissioned. Of course. Were you on your way to Azakawa Village? Yeah. I see. Alright. It's not safe to be alone here. How about I give you a ride? Are you sure? Of course. So where are you headed to? I'm looking for this place. Do you know anything about it? Oh? Ah. This is the village archive. Huh? Archive? It was a fairly impressive estate back in the day. But when the owner passed away, it was turned into an archive. 
So what brings you to a place like that? Well, a relative... Uh-huh. Um... It's fine, I won't pry. Well... Get in then. The archive closes once it gets dark. Um, thank you so much for this. Don't mention that. But are you sure this is the right place? Yes. Well, it may be after hours, but the caretaker should still be there. He's strict though, so he might not let you in. Regardless, if anything comes up, give the police station a call. I will, thank you very much. What's your guy? Oh wow, this place really is an archive. Uh, I can't. The door is open. I guess they're not closed. I've come this far, so I might as well take a look around. Here goes nothing. It's dark. Huh? This smell seems familiar. Oh, right. It's the same as the old clock at home. Excuse me, is anyone here? There appears to be an interior map, but it's too dark to make out. There's some writing, but it's too dark to make out. There's some writing, but it's too dark to make out. It's too dark to go any further. It's only the only place that this one with light. The locker has open in case of emergencies written on it. Is there anything around here that could work as a light source? No good, it's locked. There's some writing, but it's too dark to make out. There's a light right there, just use that. A key labeled emergency locker is lying on the ground. So you don't have to go any further. Some rhyme is too dark to make out. Let's just open the locker then. Locker has... yeah. It's locked, but I think I have the key. Inside the locker is an old-fashioned flashlight. This might make it easier to look around. I should be able to check out the map at the entrance now. Oh, it actually like turns with you. It doesn't just go a certain direction. Eating and drinking and open flames are strictly prohibited indoors. Smoking is only permitted outside. Please note that I communicate via writing as a Kawa village archive caretaker. Donations to the archive are greatly appreciated. I'm curious about the books, but I don't have time to read them now. I shuffle books, they look donated, and their genres are all over the place. 
No good, it's locked. Curious about the books, but I don't have time to read them. Oh! Wait... Before anything, let's, uh... Read this. Interior map of the building. First floor is books, second is local history. What's the first floor though? It's not like there's an empty space under the floor. The cupboard is full of ornate dish dishware. Open them. It's a refrigerator. A burnt smell is coming from a, the, micro, the microwave on top. The upper wall and ceiling are stained with spot. A plate of strangely blackened food had, has been left out. It looks like the breaker, but it's locked. not leave with reference books without notice. Inform the caretaker if you require copies. There's a TV and VHS player. The chef is full of educational videos for children. Contains items important to the village. No running or playing. It's locked. It's over. It's blocked off. No, it isn't. You can walk over this. There's literally nothing blocking your path. You cannot tell me. You cannot tell me that this one thing stops you from going there. That I do not even accept. Shelf full of educational videos for children. TV and VHS player. A painting titled The Sound of Rain. so dusty. I guess nobody comes here. And what? One small thing. Uh, one small thing and bam, nope. Huh? It looks blocked off, but I can go around. Yeah, you can do the same over there, you moron. locked it's locked it says emergency exit it's locked I don't get why emergency exits would be locked like, there's a fire, you're gonna, you're gonna want to, you're gonna want to, the door to be unlocked, that way, you, you don't burn to death. Also, I don't know where I'm going because I can't see around the room.
cupboard is full of uh, ornate dishware. Oof. going anyone I haven't seen yet okay I'm here I've been to the kitchen there's nothing there <gasps> oh so the book collection the office is locked oh my head Too sleepy to look at this. Um, I need to go make coffee. Okay. Um, going to this. Oh wait, there's a third floor, but all the rooms there are locked. Then the second floor, emergency exit is locked. Storage, kids' room. Uh. Is there anything of note? Okay, let's... First floor is books, second is history. Third one, who knows. locked of course it is contains items important to the village no running or playing i don't know what to do i run how oh my fucking god everything is locked sound of rain Don't leave, do not leave with reference books without notice. Okay, that's new. There's some uh, simple beds. It looks like they haven't been used in a while. An old picture book fell out. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go make coffee because otherwise I'm going to fall asleep here. I'll be, I'm not even gonna mute. I'm just gonna go.
go here. Oh, my head. Oh. Well done. I'm just gonna... Back with coffee. Hold on, let me uh oh wait, I just realized the currently playing is still is wrong. Um hold on, let me let me change it. Is it cold? Okay.
There we go. All right. Anyway. The to uh, the taking spirit and the guardian. Azakawa village folk folktale. The talking the taking spirit and the guardian. Once upon a time there was a beautiful woman in the village. Eventually the woman used her beauty to enthrall the men of the village and made them do bad things. The village fell into decline while the wives and children of the men went hungry. One day, the evil woman was run out uh, was run out of the village and into the mountains. But if, instead of ceasing her evil ways, the woman transformed into a monster. The woman became the taking spirit and kidnapped many children who wandered into the forest, throwing them down to hell. If the village... Uh, if the village men went into the forest to vanquish her, none emerged victorious. Then one day came a light. Mist like rain. And the Taken Spirit suddenly came down to the village along with it. Where are my children? Where are my children? The forest doesn't have enough children. Now give me your children. I mean, gladly. At that moment, one of the villagers approached the Taken Spirit. Strangely, the Taken Spirit didn't attack the villager. The brave villager then threw a, threw a glowing blue stone at the Taken Spirit. Once the Taken Spirit was hit, she let out a wail and returned to the forest. The villager who threw the stone begged to take begged the taken spirit not to take any more children. And she never came to the village again. That villager became known as a guardian deity and continued to protect the village. Children no longer entered the forest and the village recovered. What a creepy story. What? Came from the desk. That came from the desk. Hold on. Before I check that. Pull the drawer. Huh? It's stuck. That scared me. Was it a mouse? Why was it there? Did it get trapped inside? Yeah, I can barely hear it again. Let me up the volume a little bit. Ah! Inside the desk that the mouse came out of is a key labeled Re-F File Room. Clear file room obtained. Might be more mice. I don't want to open that again. Alright. Scared of a little mouse. <sighs> Wait. Why did my kettle just boil itself? Oh wait, I see why. I'm starting to see why, hold on. Yeah, for some reason the the the, the thing to to keep the to, to boil the kettle the little the little switch uh, for some reason it was it was uh, for some reason it was kept it was down so three F so this one it's locked that's not this one it's locked but I think I have the key all right. There's a file with documents about the Akazawa 
uh, Azakawa. I keep saying Akazawa. The Azakawa Village Archive. They are labeled as important. I guess the showroom is in the third floor. Just say Aizawa. I was thinking exactly that. I was thinking exactly that. I guess the showroom isn't on the third floor. I still don't get why the font just sometimes fucks up. Maybe it's like the fact that I don't have the font like on my computer. And that might be it. There's a photo album. It's full of old photos. This looks more like a personal album. Most of the photos are of a man and a boy who resemble him. There are sticky notes with the names of these people in the photos. The man's name is Keichiro. The boy's name is Kenji. That's my dad's name. Now what? I want to look more. But I really shouldn't. But... Do it. It contains many photos of Keichiro and, and Kenji. Dust written documents and old equipment have been left out. There's an old broken lamp. Oh, I thought that was a matryoshka. I'm really curious about the documents in this room. Uh, let's check one of the files. One of them contains the details to ownership rights over the land. Grandpa's name is signed at the bottom. Kanzaki Keichiro. That's my grandpa. Oh, right. The name was in the album, too. Anyway, my grandfather used to live here. So this really is my dad's hometown. I'll put the file back. Wish I could stay and look around more. I'll come back tomorrow and explain things to the caretaker. Something shiny falls from a shelf. There's a necklace set with three pale blue gems on the floor. But from the top of that shelf, I can't reach that high. Bring it downstairs and leave it at the reception. It's so pretty though. Why is it so shiny? Just keep it. Come on. You hear something from further in. Is someone there? Maybe the caretaker. Fun. I haven't saved yet, and I feel like right now is the perfect time to do so. It's locked. There we go. The noise came from here. Maybe there is someone in charge over there. Sound came from here. The one open. Um, hello? Who is it? A girl's voice comes from behind the door. Um, I came here looking for answers. You're not the caretaker? Um,. No, I'm actually looking for them. Who are you? The caretaker? No, I'm not. Anyway, get me out of here. What? I was hiding and got locked in. What? Then where's the caretaker? Don't know. I don't want to be found. Then should I call the police? No. That's... Uh... 
Officer Mochizuki, right? No way, he'll kill me. Then what should I do? A key falls out of a small hole in the wall. What is this? Use this to look for the key in this room. Office spare falls out. Emergency exit, it's locked. It's locked. Office, that's downstairs, right? Oh yeah, I should leave the ne necklace at the front desk. To leave the necklace? A scrap of paper fell from the desk. What is this? A piece of an old calendar? There's a date that's been circled. Ever since I got here, I've been feeling strangely uneasy. Necklace stones glow with a faint blue hue. but I should have the key to open it. <sighs> it's full of bulky files. A well-organized shelf. Contains various keys for the building. 2F storage room. This one. I have to apologize to the caretaker later. A cordless telephone. It's brand new. A full of... It's full of stationery. Can you go over here? No. Didn't think so. All right. <sighs> Brought the key. No response. Um, I have the key for this door open. Hello? Ah. Are you there? You know... You're really trespassing in here. Are you crazy? No, I'm not. I'm just looking for answers. How do you drink your coffee? Um... I tend to put, like, some milk in. Uh... I don't know, I tend to, like, drink- I tend to, like, sweeten it just a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just looking for answers. Hmm? Oh, I thought she was a ghost. You're a student? Do you live around here? Yeah. So why are you hiding here? You even got locked in. I'm just here because I want to be. Huh? I just don't want to go home or see anyone from school. That's all. So, I'm staying here. But it's so late, you should go home. You don't need to tell me, I know, okay? Ugh, forget it. Thanks for the help, kind stranger. By the way, give me the key you used to open the door. Huh? Why? Do you want to get in trouble? It's safer if I keep it. Uh, okay. You, you dumbass, she's gonna lock you in. Alright. Oh, she get out of here. It's dangerous after closing. The caretaker is a little crazy. Crap. You make sure you get out, okay? 
Huh? Wait. Let me save. Where's the save? Why is the save an umbrella? It's locked. For now, I've got to find a way out of here. Even if you get caught, don't say anything about me. What? Hey, wait. dark it is. I can't see shit. It's secured with a padlock. Is that a sword? It looks like he just came out of that room. If I go up. It's too dangerous to go upstairs right now. Okay. What room? Here? Azakawa Village Archive Showroom. Please do not touch the exhibits. A long rope is hanging down. Obtain the rope. Nice. I can finally make my wishes come true with it. Came from upstairs? So, I use the rope. That came from upstairs. Better go to sleep. Good night. I didn't even know you were here. Alright, have a good night. Ugh. No, sleep sounds like a great idea right now. Except I can't. I came from upstairs. Go to the third floor. No, no, let go. It's unlocked. There's footsteps coming closer. I have to hide. <sighs> I need to lock the door. What do I do? There's a no broken door. I 
definitely shouldn't open it. Let's hope for too high to jump down. Is there anything I should use? The rope. The rope is too short? Fuck. Anything else in this room I can use? These boxes. The lamp. Might be useful. No! I thought that was the inventory. Where the fuck was I at? Do I have to go... I don't remember where I was, I think... Okay. There you are. Then go up. It's the third floor. The streams of all time. Hello, Elixir. How you doing? It sure is. I am uh, literally surviving on like 30 cups of coffee a day. I don't even have that many. There's footsteps coming closer. Short. Here's the lamp. Okay. Uh, now, you know what? Save. Then items. Uh, rope. No. I don't know what the lamp is going to be used for, but. If I drop this lamp, it should make a loud noise. I think it left. I need to leave now, but how? I know, there might be a phone in the office. Alright, go to the office. It's the office, so there has to be a phone. Right here. Cordless telephone, but oddly there's no receiver. Huh? No way. I 
Maybe we need to find a way out of here. There's a window right there, just jump out. There's another room here. What could be inside? There's a window. You're on the first floor. You can jump out. It's open and can be entered. There's a small wooden box in the jack, but there's a combination lock on it. I have no idea what the combination is. Have you ever listened to Tenacious? Random question. Tenacious? I don't think I have. A scattered pile of notes. Please leave. We are closed. No entry inside or to the third floor. Please leave. We are closed. We don't have anything on that. We are closed tomorrow. Where's your mom? Where are you from? The sheath for a sword has been left out. Grab it so you can at least smack him with it. Some storybook making guides have been left out. It's full of rocks and specialized books about the processing of materials. There isn't anything here, I don't think. Okay, everyone's song tribute because it slaps. Um, okay, sure. What genre is that? Sounds like a rock song. I like my rock. Um, okay. Uh, Lixer is rock, pretty sure. Oh. Nice. That's my favorite genre, so. Do you know Mayday? Uh, no. Um, alright. Doesn't seem to be the right code. Even better than. Shit. Um, there's a com- oh, I already did that, um. Some storybook making guides have been left out. It's full of rock and specialized books about the processing of minerals. Chief has been left out. There's a small wooden box. Ah, uh, shit. How do I... How do I find... I guess maybe it's over here? It's still stationary. Where... This is where the keys are kept, but some have been taken. I don't see any keys for getting out. Well, I've got a shelf. Full of, of bulky files. This window appears to be fixed and can't be opened. Hey, I'm back. Hello, peace leader. How you doing? A cardboard box with trash ran on it. Yet, yeah, its contents are neatly organized. Just got back from homework. Oh, nice. Um, uh, 
Where do I go? I I can't go back. Scattered pile of notes. Please leave. We are closed. No entry inside or to the third floor. One. I think this is the hint to the code. Please leave. We are closed. We don't have anything on that. We are closed tomorrow. Where's your room? Where are you from? So... Please leave. We are closed. Um, he says it twice and says two things twice. I don't know. Uh, maybe I, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's like, no, uh, no. All right. Uh, congrats on still remembering me. I don't forget people that easily. Well, that's a lie that never mind forget i said that i will probably forget people um have you ever played gary's mod it's really fun especially with friends uh i've heard of it but i don't have friends so yeah i never really played that uh a scarf element please leave we are closed Uh, one. No entry inside or to the third floor. I can be a friend. Uh, sure. These leave are closed. We don't have anything on that. They're closed tomorrow. Where's your mom? Where are you from? Hmm. Yeah. Mm. I didn't mean to. Alright, what's the most viewers you've gotten so far on stream? Uh, I think it's only like, what, eight? And that's stretching the events a little bit. Because I think that eight is where it peaked but i think realistically the most i've gotten is like five or six scatter pile of notes maybe did i ever reach 10 i don't even know if i ever reached 10 why wow, you're under this fuck uh i don't know i mean to be fair i've been streaming for two years and like Really, I've, I haven't really gone nowhere in that time, so. Uh. Hope you get more viewers soon. Well, that's why this, this stream exists. I've gotten more viewers in this week than I have my whole, in these past two years. Easy to close. Right, content too, that's nice. I don't have anything on that. We are closed tomorrow. Wait, hold on. Please leave. We are closed. Mm. Uh, hold 
done. I feel like there's something hidden that I just can't figure out. No entry inside, there's the third floor. Fine. It's a door. Well, it's supposed to be a code, though. It's the thing. Unless it means, like, which I doubt. Yeah, no. A secret door? Where? I would love for a secret door. Uh, lag? I'm pretty sure it isn't lagging. Because I'm looking at the stream over here, so I think that's on you. It's not lagging for me, yeah. She has been left out. Well, it is for me. Well, that's on you, though. That just means it's your Wi-Fi playing tricks on you. Like, that isn't from my end, because I can, I can see from my own stream that I'm not lagging. Well done. Oh, this is a surprise. Uh, a neighbor just just uh, just sent me food. Just uh, just just brought me food. Oh, that was nice of them. Especially because I'm kind of struggling with food right now, so that's good. Let me just put this back. On eight. To... Okay, hold on. Um. Even though I have the richest Wi-Fi, well, it's, I mean, clearly it is because, like, if I'm not lagging and other people are not lagging, then it has to be on your end. Like, it, there's, it just doesn't make sense otherwise. Uh, I got to go pay my cheese tax, so I'll be back soon. All right. On really quick. Um, I was kind of getting hungry, so hold on, real quick. Uh, Okay. Guess I'll be eating on stream. Wow, this looks super good. Oh my god. Love you, neighbor. Yeah. Like, damn. God, this looks so nice. Hold up. I'm gonna try to bite the rice. 
Hmm. Yes, yeah, not bad. So good. I think there's a bit of spice here, though. So I'm not a big fan of, kind of a pussy when it comes to spice. If I'm being completely honest, but. Hmm. Should I just look up the answer? I feel like I should, because I have no idea. I have no idea what this could be. What's this? Oh, it's like um, it's like a, it's like a, like a very compact mac and cheese oh uh, yeah it's like um not even mac and cheese it's like pen mm. all right let me just look up the answer real quick so forest of drizzling rain walk through I don't think it's a museum, but all right. Wait. Obtain rope. Go to 3F, check the far door, not a room. Use rope, interact, return to one. Manager's office, interact with the key cabinet, enter code. Examine paper scrap. Don't tell me that. Hold on. Hold on. Don't tell me. Calendar scrap. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't. I forgot I got this calendar scrap. That's what it was. So, 612. Box open. There's a key inside. Where are my glasses? I threw those when... <clears throat> key is label labeled basement. Basement? Wonder what it is. The basement entrance would have to be on the first floor. Basement key obtained. A uh, basement. What would that be? I guess it would be like maybe where the kitchen is, since it has like a few doors. No? Oh, right here. It sounds like there's an empty space under the floor. Upon closer inspection, there's a keyhole in the floor. Or the basement key. Mm -hmm. It opened. Does that mean there's a basement? Uh, There's an underground path in the basement? Okay. I just have to put the rope through this hole and I can get down. What is this place? Why would this be under a library? Yeah, it's pretty unsettling. There's something inside. There's a big lid on top. 
It's very heavy and difficult to lift. What's this? There's a small stone in the lantern. Pity, it shines. It feels kind of familiar. This might be a dead end. I should hurry back and find an exit. Is this where I run? The man is holding out a small piece of paper. Uh, let me just catch up the stream real quick. Huh? Oh, okay. I take the paper. There's writing on it. We are closed. Uh, huh? Calling the police. According to regulations, go to the lobby. Wait, but who are you and why do you have a sword? The sword is fake. I'm the caretaker. Alright. I'll take Miyako home then. Just how many times has it been? Go home when it's closing time. I can't get home by myself. Plus, I wasn't going to stay that long. I got locked in. It wasn't my fault. You're the one who's making a big deal out of nothing, Officer Mochizuki. You're a nuisance to Kotaro here. And your parents must be worried. Surely you understand that. Um... Ah, right. Kotaro, Shiori... Oh wait, Kotaro, Shiori says she has some business here. She came from, from pretty far away and I escorted her from the station. But from the looks of things... From the look of things, it seems like you haven't had the time to talk. As if they could. She was too scared to even say a word. Some caretaker he is. Yeah, cool. Though, I should have taken the time to see you off the entire way. Sorry about that. Oh, no, it's nothing. I invited myself in after all. But, I did find out something. Oh, I see. It worked out in the end. Uh, it all worked out then. Just what did you find out here? Well, the truth is... I, I think I'm the granddaughter of Kanzaki Keichiro. But some things happen and I need to make sure for myself. I can't believe it. So that's what brought you here? To think someone from that family would be in this house again. Huh? Go home. Uh, yeah. It's well past closing time anyways. I talked for way too long, sorry. If I can stay somewhere close and come back tomorrow... Don't come tomorrow. Go home. Huh? I know I caused a lot of trouble today, but... But... What? Looking to inherit the house? 
The characters look so pretty. They do. They're drawn really well. Hmm. Hey, learn what you say. What? I may be Keichiro's granddaughter, but I'm not here because I want the place. It's just... Go home. But... I need to know more about this place, no matter what. I know it's pretty selfish of me to ask for something like this. My parents recently passed away in a car accident. I'm not really sure what to do. It's embarrassing. Living life without knowing much about yourself or your parents. For the first time, it hit me just how lonely that feels. It was then that I found a picture of this village. So I took all my savings from working and came here. The place in this picture is the only clue I have to go on. That's why I have to know more. Hmm. I see. Ah! Wow, so mean. You're really kicking her out? What's Mr. Caretaker so afraid of anyways? Besides, think about it. There's no way someone like her would actually want this shod shoddy building. She said so herself, so a look around wouldn't hurt. Hey, let's calm down. Also... There isn't really a place to stay around here. What? It's just a village, nothing much. No buses, store, or hotels of any kind. There is one place the village chose to use in emergency situations. And that's here. Mr. Caretaker definitely knows that, so stop playing dumb. Well, it's all so sudden, even Kotaro's surprised. Mm. For now... Things have been cleared up. So can we leave it at that? And there we have it. Should be fine to stay the night. It's something the village decided on, right, Kotaro? From that day, I began to stay at the archive. The caretaker here can't speak. And written notes are used in place of words. It seems that... He can... It seems that he can hear my voice, though. That night, I was given another memo from him. Do not step outside the archive. I tried to ask him why, but he just went back to his room. 
once I get things sorted out, I think I'll leave right away. The archive doesn't have documents. It has reminders of my parents, too. Of each passing memory, I can feel warmth envelop me. At the same time, however, I have some doubts. Why hadn't mom and dad brought up anything about our hometown? Why didn't we move away? Why did they cut ties with everyone they knew? Why does it feel like there's some secret here? Does the answer rest in this archive in Asakawa village? Or... <clears throat> or... Bookmark Shadow of Memories. Good morning, Premium Mountain. How you doing? Shadow of Memories was added to bookmarks. Uh, I'll save over this. Let me grab a drink real quick. Let's be careful with that. Chapter 2 Come, drink some water. Mercy, thank you. Thank you so much. Please believe me, we didn't steal a single grain of rice. So why must we continue to be punished like this? Because of that, I lost another child tonight. Is there anything I can do? Please, oh please. My child. Please mourn for my child. Alright, I shall prepare a proper burial. Mercy. You are so kind. It feels like I saw a really weird dream. Huh? I can't remember what I dreamt about, even though it was just a moment ago. Oh. That always happens, at least to me anyway. So fuzzy. Maybe I'm just tired from everything that happened yesterday. Ah, uh, at least it's a nice day today. I want to feel positive while looking into my parents' past. Hold on. Playing this and eating is really uncomfortable, so let me just finish eating real quick. Also, I gotta go get this plate back once I finish. Cool. Go 
cool. Just had to give the plate back. Because it wasn't mine. Um, anyway. I already checked this, right? Uh, there might be more mice, so I won't be able to open it again. It's full of old and... Oh, hold on. Where's my glasses? There they are. It's full of old and dusty written books. Read Aizo a village folktale. The Taking Spirit and the Guardian. Wait. <laughs> I already read that one. Right? I guess I should go greet the caretaker. Though he's a little scary. Um, was the caretaker's room on the first floor? Locked. I'll say hi to the caretaker first. Okay, so clearly we have to advance from there. Um, good morning. Thanks for letting me stay here yesterday. Um, and... I still want to know more about my family, so... Can I look around the archive some more? What are you searching for? There isn't much left from the previous owners. Most of it was thrown away. But I found a photo album yesterday. If I can learn more about my parents- Hello Zen, how you doing? If I can learn more about my parents, even just a little bit. You can look in any of the unlocked rooms. Thank you. Don't go outside of the archive. Oh, but I don't have food or supplies for my stay. I really didn't expect there would there wouldn't be a hotel here. What game is this? Uh, it's in the currently playing on top. Uh, it's called uh, Forest of Drizzling Rain. Actually, has a it's pretty intriguing so far. So. Yeah. Uh, alright. It's locked. Uh, sorry. What genre is this game? It's a RPG maker horror game. That was awkward. Well, anyway. Although the horror aspect still needs to arrive because this is mostly a story driven game. Actually, I haven't... She didn't have time to read any of these, right? Uh, the books... The bookshelf seems to have a lot of books that may be related to Azakawa Village. There's a page with something written about Azakawa Village. Mysterious Disappearance Discourse. Read. I turn to a page that looks relevant. Mysterious Disappearances Discourse. Chapter 4. Azakawa Village. Belief in the ta in the taking spirit. The village is surrounded by mountains, but part of the road there is closed off. Is there any horror? Yeah, there probably will be. Um, we've seen some unsettling uh, scenery so far. Nothing too scary. Um, I don't think it's going to get that scary, but... It's going to get probably a little unsettling. Uh, but yeah, it's mostly like story... Uh, story driven so yeah the horror is just going to be like a like an add-on the village is surrounded by mountains but part of the road is closed off that is due to their beliefs 
Since ancient times, children's disappearances have been blamed on the taking spirit. But as I have previously mentioned, this is also part of our local folklore, and it's just an example of mountain worship, or tales of being spirited away. Hey, that's a movie. I believe legends like this exist due to the villagers trying to ease the pain of those who have lost their relatives. By creating a convenient story to explain why children go missing or die tragically in the mountains. But these legends are also peculiar. For a long time, it was passed down by word of mouth to avoid leaving a written record. But in recent years, the village elders ordered it to be written down as a warning. Many elders still believe in the legend and continue to... What what is that word? Fer fer fervently, and they continue to whatever the fuck insist that countless children have gone missing in the mountains since ancient times. However, due to mass communication, belief in the taking spirit has started to fade among young villagers. Sorry, I. Thought I heard shouting, but I guess not. Skepticism is also growing concerning res uh, concerning restricted parts of the mountain, with belief that it hinders the building of new real estate, such as recreational facilities. Okay. The book shows himself a book that may be related to Azakawa Village. There's a page uh, with something written about Azakawa Village. History of Mankind from the Jaymon era. Read. Turn to a page that looks relevant. Okay, turn to a page that looks relevant. Um, History of Mankind from the Jaymon era. Chapter 2. When Men Kill the Forest God. To people of ancient times, special places like waterfalls and lakes, and large rocks known as Iwakura, simulated holy sublime feelings. In our country, those mountains or rocks themselves were deemed gods and they were enshrined as a place of faith. Many of these rocks had... Ah, my head hurts. Many of these rocks had buildings built around them and remain as shrines today. I believe that Azakawa Village's Mount Kinobori is one of these en enshrinements. However, because of the ancient legend of the Taking Spirit, the road to the mountains is off limits and not enough research has been done. Evidence of, the, of this is present in forager societies across the globe. Apart from the Azakawa village, hardly any evidence of snake worship remains. A shelf of books, they look donated and the genres are all over the place. Reading all the books in the lobby would probably take a couple of days. This shelf doesn't have any books about Azakawa village. The bookshelf seems to have a book that may be related to Azakawa Village. There's a page with something written about Azakawa. Power Stone Investigation. Read. 
I resume to a page that looks relevant. Parasol investigation. Five. Occult Bonanza. The Luminous Stone. Legend of Azakawa Village that defies science. A place deep in the mountains surrounded by rice fields and beautiful lake. I visited this village next uh, next in order to get a glimpse of their luminous stones, which couldn't be found anywhere else. The stones are said to ward off evil, so there is a tradition of giving them to children to carry. Luminous stones have a strange trait. They usually appear light green, but under the right conditions, they glow brightly enough to be seen in the dark. It's hard to believe, but some informed ore enthusiasts have purchased them for unbelievable prices. But now production is low and the industry no longer exists, so they're not for sale anymore. But there are just so many mysteries about luminous stones, it makes the enthusiasts even crazier about them. Luminous stones... Wait. Luminous stones were mined here for hundreds of years, but no... But for some reason, Azakawa Village has no records on it. Their history is only passed orally by the elders of the village until recently. So, since it's only a local legend, I don't know if it's true or not. The birth of these beautiful stones is completely shrouded in mystery. A shelf of books, they look donated. This shelf doesn't have any books about Azakawa Village. Any bookshelves here? Doesn't seem like it. Is this room unlocked? Yes it is, but this is just a kitchen. Wasn't it glowing stone in the basement? Yes it was. Oh. Oh, never mind. It was in the basement and it was also a necklace that we found that we put back over here. And it's not here anymore. But still. And also, it will, I think it's also the same material that uh, the caretaker's sword is made of. His quote unquote fake sword. Oh, what's this? So, this is the showroom. I didn't get a chance to look around yesterday. Azakawa Village, Archive Showroom. Please do not touch the exhibits. Hmm. Okay. Luminous Stone. This is a luminous stone that has been cut into a sphere. Used in exorcism and exorcisms and rituals by the village guardian. Luminous Stone. Trinkets. The people of Azakawa Village have worn luminous stone... Uh, trinkets since ancient times. Yeah, I think this is the one. I think these are the luminous stones that the book was talking about. They're said to repel evil and were often given to children. However, there is a, currently a shortage of luminous stones and art, artisans that work with them, making them precious. View of Mount Kinobori. A landscape painting of Azakawa village. It shows the natural beauty of the area. The X generation village guardian. An old photo of an unfamiliar person. Map of Azakawa village. A very old map that is different from the present. The mountains behind the archive are left out completely. Luminous stone fragments. Luminous stone is native to Azakawa village. They emit light under certain condition, but the cause is unknown. I've more or less seen everything now, but it's all so strange. Azakawa village sure has a lot of mysterious stories, but I can't find anything about my parents with the stuff here. Luminous stone vase. A vase made from luminous stone and emits a faint blue light. That's it. All right. Locked. 
Emergency exit, it's locked. It's locked. This whole fucking room is locked. Or the floor. This is where I woke up in. Don't need to see this. It's locked. It's locked. All oh, right, I should take a closer look at that album from yesterday. The photo album. It contains many many old photos of Keichiro and Kenji. Since I'm here, I want to take a look at this album. So mom and dad lived here when they were young. There aren't any photos from when I was young either. When I, from when I was young here either. There's so much I don't know, so it feels weird. But there's not much that I can tell that can tell me about my family. Maybe there's something in one of the other rooms. I'll ask the caretaker about the rooms that are still locked. It's locked. There's a note on the door. Gone out. Uh, I have to go have a good rest of the stream. Thank you. Okay. Now what? Huh? Is someone at the door? I guess I should go check. That is just serial killer vibes. H hello? It's you? Huh? Oh, you're from yesterday. I didn't hear anything about the place being closed, okay? Why is it closed? Oh, I guess it really is. One second. Ah, uh, no padlock. I can't just open it. Oh, I can just open it. It really is you. Hi there. Hi. Hey. Do you know why the archive is closed? Oh. Probably because the caretaker went out. Probably. I was looking for him too, but it looks like he's gone. Huh? So he locked you in here without saying anything. The heck? It's like he's keeping you prisoner. Huh? Uh, he's being awful. Should have told you before leaving. You're supposed to be a guest here. Well, I'm really just causing trouble for him. But you did give me permission to look around. Well, isn't that nice? Are you still looking? Yeah. But for the rest of the rooms, I want to check... I want to check her locked. Now why don't you come with me? Uh-huh. He insi insisted that I don't go out, though. But won't you just learn about the village? But you won't learn about the village by just staying in the archive, right? It's a quiet place, but also pretty boring. But I guess there's nothing in the village either. Well, I'm curious about the village too. Ah, but the caretaker said... Oh. He's just concerned about the forest. Huh? Just don't go in the forest. Besides... You don't listen to everything the caretaker says. He's just being weird and you're the guest of, and you're the guest of the village. So why should you follow his orders? I guess I do need food, towels and other things for my stay. 
Didn't bring underwear, did you? <laughs> I guess I need those too. Anyway, do you know what the store is? Oh, for... Okay. Fine. I'll show you the way. Really? Thank you. No need. Let's go then. Hey. What? Everything happened so quickly yesterday that I couldn't even get your name. Can you tell me if that's okay? I'm not certain the character you're playing was a sacrifice or will be a sacrifice. The caretaker is either trying to help us stay safe or keep us until we're needed. I don't think that's the case. Miyako. Sakuma Miyako. I see, so... Mimi, huh? Don't call me that. It makes me sound like a little kid. So embarrassing. Alright. Then, how about Miko? No one's ever given me a nickname before. So, are nicknames like normal for city people or something? Not really. I just thought it was cute. City people are weird. Wow, it's so green here. It kind of makes me excited. Huh? There's literally nothing here. Maybe, but I still think it's pretty. Isn't life in the city way more exciting? There's department stores, and CD shops, and arcades, and convenience stores. I mean, I don't think CD shops are a thing anymore, but... Okay. Crap. I knew I should have stayed in the at the archive. Sorry, you're on your own from here. Just go straight and look for the sign at the crossroads. You'll be fine. Huh? What's wrong? It's nothing. And don't tell anyone you saw me either. Uh huh? Ah! Hey, you're that girl from yesterday. Sorry to start out of nowhere, but have you seen Miyako on you? Have you seen Miyako around? Huh? Seems like she's skipping school again. Ah, is that so? Right. She should be in school right now. No, I haven't. Alright. To see her, could you tell she should talk to her? She's got she's got a lot going on, you see. So are you so how about you? Are you heading to the village now? Yes. I was on my way to buy some things for for my stay. I see. Well, since you're around here, you should look around the village too. Oh my god. Um... Well, since you're here, you should look around the village, too. It's nice. It's a nice little village that's a lot greener and quieter than the city. Of course, it's really beautiful here. You know, summer break, right? I know you came here for a reason. But it's also important to have some fun once in a while. So take your time and enjoy exploring, okay? Have some fun and take my time, huh? Knowing I should hurry and get up and get my shopping done. 
Anyway, uh, anyway, I should hurry and get my shopping done. Uh, I'm actually going to... Save. And then I'm going to put the BRB up. Ugh. Okay, um... What was I doing? Uh... My... Oh. No, hold on. Uh, wait, hold up. Don't know what you were doing? Yeah, neither do I. Um... I think I was just going... There's just rice field this way, so I shouldn't be stopping it. I, I, I wouldn't... So there wouldn't be any shops. The node were not paid for, and looks like it's on its last legs. I was just going... Yeah, I was going to the shop, basically. Oh, a shrine? It was kind of mysterious. The sign at the crossroad must be this one. Looks like the shopping area is south of the ter of this direction. This person is staring at me. Ah, they looked away. They're staring daggers at me. What a neatly paved road. Maybe if I have time, I can go take a look later. Hmm. This doesn't look like this is the way. It's like they keep, they keep glancing over at me. They seem to be looking at me and whispering about something. This person is just staring blank, blankly blankly at the bridge at the end of the road. It might just be my imagination, but I feel like I'm being watched. It looks like they're gossiping. They're looking at me curiously. Cute. Oh, cat. They're the only ones that understand me. Wonder if this is the general store. There's a sign saying, Close. We'll return briefly in the evening. So it's only open in the evening today, huh? So you should go back to the archive for now. There's something on the ground. There's a patient ID card on the ground. It says Kinobori Pass Clinic on it. I think the police station was near here somewhere. Wait, unless... It's over here? No. Excuse me, did you happen to see a middle school around here? Huh? Uh, no, not that I recall. Let's see. 
Well, sorry to bother you. Hmm, I wonder who that was. Maybe he's looking for Mika. There's a police station. There's a sign. There's a sign saying "Out on Patrol." Ah, oh, right. I just saw Officer Motsuki earlier. Hmm. Maybe I should take the patient a D card directly to the clinic. But I don't know where the clinic is. I guess I have no choice. I'm nervous, but I have to ask. Um, excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? I'm looking for the Kinobori Pass Clinic. Do you know where it is? Ah, yes. Kinobori Pass Clinic. Go nor north on the crossroad. And continue up the hill. I see. Thank you very much. I thought you didn't look familiar. You're not from around here, are you? Feels like I'm always being watched. But it seems like people are willing to talk. The clinic is north of the crossroads. Okay, I'll go that way. There, there. This empty lot is perfect for rocking babies to sleep and having chats. But recently, a land for sale sign was put up. It was put up, you see. So, just who in this world would buy empty land like this in the countryside? Oh my, what a beautiful baby. Even younger than Yokohata's granddaughter who recently returned to the village. Though it must be, it must be tough to prepare for the festival of a baby and all. Oh my, oh my. Don't you worry, we won't work your mother too hard. The town hall and school are across the bridge up just up ahead. It wasn't even here in the past, so I hear it was pretty inconvenient. I wonder why people even continue to live in a place like that. Though I guess I'm one to talk. I'm still living here too, after all. Oh, a tiny kitten that's crying. Looks like it's hungry. My poor little thing. Feel the child. I hear some people are even growing suspicious of the new police officer. He's always giving ride to girls in his patrol car. Well, he is from the city after all. Nobody here is gonna trust someone like that. People here really that distrustful of people from the city? Was staring at me as he looked away. These hills aren't kind to us old folks. Got to take a breather. That old woman keeps ne needing to keeps needing breaks and still hasn't made it up here. She's the one who said she wanted to see the view. You know you could help her, right? Mysterious stamp and ink pad. Hmm. Kinobori Pass Clinic. Yep, this is it. This clinic looks old, but the architecture is kind of charming. A hilltop clinic like this is like something you'd see on TV. Same with the archive, it's nice to see the architectures being preserved.
so all that mutterings heard all that muttering I heard was coming from you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just admiring the building. And here I thought it was a patient of, of their meds. Uh, no, I'm not here as a patient. Someone dropped their patient ID card, so I came to return it. Oh. Now, just who could have dropped it? Ah, Mrs. Umemoto again. That's just like her. Sorry for troubling you. To come all the way up here just for this. Oh no, I should be one apologizing for disturbing you out here. Well, it's no bother. I was just about to step out for a short break anyways. Though I haven't seen you around before, little miss. Oh, right. I've been staying at the village archive since yesterday. Is that so? The archive, huh? Quite an odd tourist. You are to be wandering around the village. And the truth is, my parents grew up here. And I came looking for anything related to them. Let me guess, you came here because they passed away recently. How? Ah, uh, well, yes, that's correct. Um, is it really that obvious? May, I may look like a plain old man, but I still haven't lost my wits. I'm back finally. Welcome back. I just came back myself. Uh, I forgot to put my glasses back on, so... Not like they matter all that much, because I can't see regardless. I can tell if someone's gloomy by nature if they're just feeling down. I see. I guess I have to be more careful. Well, I should be heading back. I still need to head to my parents. So I want to check out the archive as much as I can while I'm here. Such melancholy. Wait. Wait there a moment. Here, this should be f perfect for you, for young folks like you. This is a stamp, really? It was a dumb town holiday, but I'm glad it's finally useful. At any rate, go take a look around the village and clear your head. Uh, huh? Consider this a doctor's order. Once you've had your fill, come and see me again. A stamp rally, huh? It's true that I haven't been able to relax since the accident. I guess I'll take his advice and walk around to clear my head a bit. The village clinic. Now that I think about it, I can smell the very peculiar disinfectant like hospital smell. There's nobody else inside right now. That old, that old woman keeps needing breaks. She hasn't made it up here. She's the one who says she wants to see the view. The old lady sure has it rough gathering wild veggies. Oh, you're a, you're a young and spry one. Can you help me with gathering veggies? Yeah. Okay, I'll teach you how to spot wild veggies. Got it. Now go look. Uh, now you know what to look for. I didn't get anything. Um... There you go. <coughs> Don't you know our edible... Uh... Even starts to look shiny. Really? Actually, they kind of do look shiny. Just go ahead and pick any shiny wild vegetable... 
that you see. You find in, you can find wild veggies around the village thanks to your help. Wild veggies will easily. So bring them back before night falls. Orange daylily. We have a lot to make uh, Tsukudani. A wild veggie has appeared, yep. Oh. Didn't even realize. Huh? Was that Miko just now? These hills aren't good to sort for to go take a breather. Oh, also. Wild veggie. Why? Whose daughter are you? Would you kind of not eavesdrop on us like that? So I saw that girl wandering around alone the other day. It sure must be tough. Wait, she's already in middle school. I can't imagine her parents must feel. No, not her. The other one. The one who just returned. Oh, that one. So there really was a diver divorce. Who knows? I don't know the details, but rumor has it that his wife ran out on him. How unfortunate. These days, there are fewer people here, and nobody comes to take pictures anymore. I run a photo studio, and I watch a shop, and I even make glasses now. Lately, all I've been doing is making... Reading glasses for the elderly. Even though I'm a watchmaker my, by trade. Hey there. Are you here for the stamp rally? Finally, it's my chance to give out the Kitchenawa Creek stamp. I've waited so long that I want to give it to someone who's truly worthy. So here's a fun quiz for you. Uh, which hand am I holding the Kuchina Creek stamp? Left. Incorrect. Ah, oh, that's too bad. It's quite hot out today, so I'd like to head on home now. I'll be here again tomorrow, so... Come and try your luck again then. And I didn't think that was gonna happen. We're not collecting eggs for the day. Our chickens are pretty rowdy, so collecting eggs is gonna be tough. Want some eggs and come and come again tomorrow. There's two. This place is so beautiful. I wish we were close to the ocean instead of the instead of a lake. I'm sure ocean fish would taste way better.
Azakawa Lake is the best spot for catching big fish in the village. Oh, I got a bite. It's a big one. So puny. What is this? Oh, what a nice weather. As I call it, Lake is calm today, so fish fish should, should sell well. You're not from the village, are you? Why don't you try fishing? It's free. There's some gear next to that sign. You can fish once per ticket with these fishing tickets. I recommend fishing if you want to slow down and relax. Here, I'll give you these fishing tickets if you uh, try it out. You're, you're interested. Take a look at the signboard first if you want to fish. Then, uh, pick one of the Azakawa Lake fishing spots and cast your line. The difficulty and types of, of fish you catch change depending on the fishing spot. Uh, you can ask other fishermen on the pier where you start fishing to get some tips. Is it a game where you can pet animals? Some, oh, some animals. Uh... It might take a while to get a bite, so fishing is a great way to re to relax. Have a good time fishing at uh, Zakawa Lake. I wish I could catch a a black bass for once. It's, this lake is so boring. If not a black bass, then I could at least then at least a bluegill. Alas, there are no non-active fish in this lake. Though it would be nice if there were one. Get your fishing on. Fish for free with a fishing ticket. One try per fishing ticket. Fishing, huh? Me and my dad were went fishing here when they were kids. I wonder what fish there are. It sounds fun. Maybe I'll try it. Catch a ton of fish and make something fancy for dinner. And dad will drink dinner uh, at the active change based on the number of fish caught a day. A total of 18 type of casual fish. Aquapedia in the menu. Ah. So it's basically a Pokedex for fish. Save it in for more details. Fish. Fish here. I don't think I did it. There goes the bait. Fuck. Come on, you're right there. Come on, just grab it, you fuck. Are you joking? It's right there. Are you fucking kidding me?
Throw yourself in the lake. Throw yourself in the lake right now. Do it. Do it. Oh, hi. Mika, weren't you going to the archive? Listen, you won't believe it. I went to the archives, but it was locked again. And that mean... Then does that mean that the caretaker is back? I guess so. But wouldn't you normally go out again? I thought that maybe he left to look for you. So I was gonna find him or die trying, but... He didn't seem to be in the village. Ah, oh, now that you mention it. Just earlier, there was a young man looking for a middle school, middle school student. So he really was looking for you, huh? Is he your friend? He looks like he was about my age. No way. He's just a trainee teacher at my school. Oh, so he's from your school. That explains why he was looking for you. I really don't like him. He's worse than my classmates. I heard the village is, is his hometown, but he always has it out for me. So, don't ever tell that teacher you sign, okay? Alright, I won't. That's a promise, okay? I won't. I promise I won't. Adults always lie like that, so you better not be. Anyways, I'm gonna hide for a little longer. So, see ya. Ah, she's gone. Wow, what a pretty shrine. It's still summer fest festival season. I hope nothing bad happens this year. Our summer festival is small, but it's very important to the village. The village youth organization puts their all into it. Though it's actually more of a middle-aged organization. So there's a summer festival here, huh? There are fewer and fewer people here now, but the festival season brings back some life. Brings some life back. Which is why I really hope it doesn't rain. You, but you can't control the weather. Well, rainy days are exactly why we have this shrine in the first place. There's nothing we can fear more than rainy days in this village. They fear rainy days, I wonder why. It's locked. As the Kara Shrine protects her village from the forest, the area behind the shrine has always been considered sacred. None may enter. Perhaps because it has a scary name like Child Eating Cave. Little kids might not know, but the scary place. Are also the most terrifying but I didn't read that correctly I'm way too dead huh what oh why did the game just randomly stop I don't know oh there's one here and here Oh. Officer Motsuki. I guess he's looking for Mika. 
Now, yeah. We need a lot to make Tsukudani. Never mind, I guess I need a bit more. Right there. Can I find them somewhere? Yes. What? Oh, it's just you. You're hiding here now? Can't cross the bridge into the lake on a bicycle. So even if Officer Motsuki finds me, I can just overrun him. I can just outrun him. <laughs> that makes sense. It's so quiet here and the water is pretty, so it's a good hiding spot. Really think so? It's just a regular old fishing pole. Hole. In that case, want to fish with me? No. I don't like touching the bait or getting too close to the water. I should get moving. Staying put for too long is risky. If you want to go fishing, then try looking at that sign. She's gone again. But fishing might be a good way to relax. Oh wow, Miko sure is great at not being caught. Wait. A cat is happily playing with the stamp string. It's funny for the stamp rally. Nice. Stamp obtained. The cashier is having fun. Stamp string is falling apart. Cute cats. Yeah. Adorable cats. We have a lot to meet. Oh my god, okay. Oh, hi. Ah, it's you again. Why am I not surprised? I could say something about you, Miko. If I don't keep moving, the other villagers will tell on me. Are you a dog or a cat person? Both, I'm not picking. If I don't keep moving, the other villagers will tell on me. Doesn't wandering around make you stick out more? It's fine if I'm hiding. It'll be worse if they find me. And aren't you the one who's really sticking out here? Huh? Do I? It's a small village. They like to gossip. Gossip? Better make a good impression. Guess there's no helping that. Is that how city people think? Must be nice not having people on your case all the time. Oh no, city people are way worse. Ugh, I'm so tired of fighting. Maybe the archive is open by now. Ah, she ran off. You could sure has a lot of energy.
There's another one. Ah, uh, two again? Do you have anything better to do? It's not gonna be that fun. Yes, it is. Hmm, you're weird. What are you hiding? If Officer Mochizuki put you up to this, then don't waste your breath. People like that are seriously annoying. No, it's nothing like that. So nobody told you to talk to me? Um, about that. Actually, I did speak with Officer Mochizuki. But I'm talking to you because I genuinely want to. You're a really bad liar. You're quite the chatterbox, huh? Huh? I'm sorry. Did you say you found that annoying? It's fine, you're not really that annoying. I was just teasing you, so... I'm not the one who's sorry. So I'm the one who's sorry. Miko is actually quite earnest. Are you smiling? Oh, nothing. Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, well, guess people are getting married later these days. Are you seeing anyone? If not, I can help you find someone. <laughs> uh... Officer Matsuki, there's a cat and dog fighting over there. There are? I better hurry then. Ah, thank you. Wait. Young people take too long to get married these days. I think that's a good thing. That was blocked off. It does kind of look creepy down here. I got a whole lot of wild veggies. I'll bring them to the whole to the old lady. All right, got the maximum amount. Go. I've walked around for quite a bit now. That doctor did say to come see him again, but I wonder why. Oh wow, you sure picked a lot. Young people sure do love food. Thanks for the help, please take this. Fishing ticket obtained, nice. You're young. So you should eat fish for dinner instead of wild veggies. You need to eat lots of fish and meat so you can grow up strong. Uh, where is Mika? There she is. Maybe you should go and check the archive. Okay, uh, not yet. Let's go talk to the doctor. Tired of walking around, hey? Yeah, I think I've seen everything. Oh, I see. Well then, take a seat here, little miss. Alright. It's getting cooler too. Perfect timing. Wow. It's gorgeous. Ooh. As the sun sets into the mountains, its light illuminates the rice fields once more. Whoa, pretty? Yeah. The gentle breeze gradually cooled and the sounds of insect transitions into, into night. 
Unconsciously, I took a deep breath and noticed the plants had a different aroma in the evening. I wonder how long it has been since I've felt this way watching a sunset like this. What was my screenshot button? I just come to this village, but the scenery somehow still made my chest tighten. Walking around the whole day strangely helped my nerves. Looking back, ever since the funeral, I felt like I've been facing myself to move on. Or forcing myself to move on, I can't remember. I can't, I didn't see it, I didn't look at it properly. Mom and Dad. I never... I wonder how they met, how they spent their time together here, and why the two of them decided to leave the village. I realized it wasn't that feeling of unease driving, driving me, but a desire to learn about them. I'm sure there's still so much more left that I don't know about yet. Today's sunset is as gorgeous as ever. It really is. I think I feel a bit better now. You're biting young. But your expression was outright pitch black. Keep that up and you'll get you'll start getting wrinkles. Huh? Was it that bad? No kidding. You almost look like an old grandma from the village. Thank you. I understand how you feel coming all the way out here. We'll only run into a wall if you keep pushing yourself. You need to have a strong heart to be ready to take in what lies ahead. A youthful smile better suits a young lass like yourself. I say the same thing to the Arca caretaker all the time. Really? You must have a thing or two to say after seeing him now. Well, he honestly is a little intimidating. That man is just impossibly stubborn, even more so than me. But his parents also left this world early on. Is that so? Even the caretaker lost his? Even now he keeps himself cooped up in that building and almost never leaves. I only see him... For his regular checkups. And he often butts heads with the town hall. With how he manages that place. He ought to try and get people to help him out over there. Ah. Miko. Shiori. What are you doing here? Um, well. I was just watching the sunset. Over the rice fields. The sunset? That's like something old people do. Really? How about you, Mika? What's up? What do you mean, what's up? If I saw you, I went back to the archive. But Mr. Caretaker and after Mitsuki were just hanging around in there. I couldn't stand it any longer, so I just left. Hmm? You're the little brat, Miyako. Yo, Gokhan, how you doing? You're in middle school already. And you still haven't lost that short fuse? Ugh, it's the old quack. Miko and... Miko and Doctor calling her Brad is... Seems about right for a kid that calls people quacks. Shut it, old man. I bet you tried doing some weird experiment on Shiori. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, Shiori, did you finish? Did you finish shopping? Ah, it's already evening. I have to go to the store. 
You're gonna be quite an airhead, huh? Hold your tongue, child. That's what makes you a brat. Ah, jeez, you're annoying. Cherry. Uh, you should hurry up. Mr. Caretaker was super mad. Oh, I've gone and done it now. I, I should hurry to the store. Um, thank you, Doctor, for showing me that amazing view. Seeing young folks depressed like that doesn't sit right with me. Not fun of all this noise either, so hurry me hurry on out of here. Okay. Thank you. I need to finish my shopping and head back fast. So nothing? Or is it has a store? It's right here. Is this not the store? Or was it what was the store down here? Wait, what is this? There we go. Found it. Great, the store is still open. Excuse me. Welcome. Excuse me, are you still open? Oh my, what a pretty little flower you are. Please, please, come on in. Thank you. Um, I'd like to buy this. Oh, yes. My, what a big girl you are. Are you on an errand by yourself? Huh? Uh, um, yes. Oh, my, my. Here are some sweets as, spe as a special treat. Ah, uh, thank you very much. But it's dangerous for children to be out alone, you know? I don't think... Isn't she, like, graduated from college? I'm, like, I'm pretty sure she's, like, in her early adulthood. At least. Tell your parents that this old lady is worried, okay? Okay. If you're not careful, you could get lost and be all alone. And when that happens, the force will call for you. Then, you'll never be able to return. There used to be a village guardian, you see. So even if something happened, there was hope of being saved. But now... Even the Guardian has disappeared. Oh, and it's turning night slowly. That's a cool effect. And now it's almost... And now it's completely blue, almost. The prayer at the annual summer festival is just for show these days. The forest will f uh, for sure want a pretty little flower like yourself. Especially on rainy days, you mustn't go outside. It seems like this old lady sees me as a small child. Okay, thank you very much. Do be careful now. The sun is getting faster than I thought. I should hurry back. The store is closed. It looks like I was the last customer for the day. Ah, there you are. You're heading back, right? I'll go with you. Uh-huh. It's getting dark, you know. You should be heading home yourself. There are still people on their way home from clubs. Besides, it'll be hard finding the way back yourself, right? But it's fine. You don't need to worry about me. Not to mention, I had to run all over the place since the archive was closed. It's only fair that we sneak back in there for a bit. Huh? What, you don't want to? Fine, I'll just go there by myself. Wait, wait. If you're going, I'm coming with you. Uh, so here? Yep. That little girl is all by herself? Kids aren't allowed to go near the shrine alone this late. Shuri, let's go after her. Okay.
She's heading towards the child eating cave. It's a place that children are never supposed to go. Child eating cave? It's blocked off by a fence. That looks like it's about to fall apart. It looks like that girl got in through this opening. Climb over. Usually nobody is allowed inside here. What is this place? It's not here. Not here. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, uh... You shouldn't be wandering around alone so late. Wow, wow. Mm, do you know where your family is? Papa, Grandma. Your father and grandmother? They must be worried about you. But I was told to come here. Huh? You're meeting your family here? Nobody from the village would choose to meet up here. And you should never listen to what that voice says. We're leaving now. Where's your home? Uh, uh... I... I... I, I don't know. Oh, shut up. Oh, hey, hey, um, it's okay, so don't cry. I'm sorry. I can't stay in this place. Mika, why do you look so pale? I'm getting Officer Motsuki. Don't you dare let that kid out of your sight. Mika was acting strange. Um, can you tell me your name? I'll take you home to your family, okay? Uh, are you? Okay. How about we at least leave the shrine? Aiko. I've been looking all over for you. What were you doing here? Are you Ayu's father? I haven't seen you around before. Why are you with Aiko? I, uh... Don't tell me. You're the one who, who's been dragging Aiko around, huh? No, it's not like that. Well, then you better have some proof of that. You're an outsider, right? The more reason... Would... Then what reason would you have to bring Aiko to the shrine? Hey, calm down. Think about it. She's definitely suspicious. I'm not. Papa, why... Why are you angry? Please don't be angry at, at me and Big Sis. Uh, Aiko. Hey, you. This is all your fault. You're an adult, so you shouldn't push the blame onto others like that. Also, your child is crying, so please stop shouting. Are you... <sighs> Officer Motsuki, over here, hurry! Hey, what's going on here? Officer Motsuki, Amiko! Huh? Who are all these people? I hurried over here because Miyako told me there was a lost child. But you all seem a little tense. Want to explain what's going on? It's just that this girl here was dragging around... Uh, was dragging around uh, my missing Aiko. Huh? All she already did was find that kid. I was with her the whole time, so don't make false accusations. Hey, there's no point arguing about this for any longer. Ah, oh, you're from the Yokohata family, right? I see, you were looking for Ayu again. I've told you many times, but please contact the police if your child goes missing. Just to let us know, so we can at least help, okay? Tch. Come back to the village, and now there's so many outsiders. Hey, that's enough. Aiko, I'm sorry that Papa got angry. Grandma's waiting for us, so let's go home. Okay. Big sis, let's play again, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
What's with that guy? He pisses me off. It's his own fault for not taking better care of his kid. Oh my fucking god, shut up. Thank you for uh, going to get Officer Motsuki, Miko. Same, Miko, same. Yeah. <laughs> That was the son and grandchild from the Yokohata family just now. They just recently returned to the village. But their grandchild wanders off and goes missing often. So they're always frantically looking for her. It may be the countryside, but it can still be dangerous for a small child. I keep telling them to notify us, but... You were just looking after Ayu, right? And yet, he still treated you poorly. Yeah, I'm just glad everything turned out okay. Okay, there was nothing okay about that. Easy there. Anyhow, it's late. Should head back as well. It's dark, and Kotaro look, looks, looked furious. I wish I could give you a lift, but as you can see, I have to deal with this little one first. Huh? What do you mean, little one? I wasn't even at the archive today, let alone after closing time. So, I can go home by myself? Miko, are you sure? It's gotten quite dark already. I'll be fine by myself, so please get- so please get Miko home safely. Ah, not you too. Hey. You're a university student from the city, right? Huh? Well, yeah, I guess I am. Then, you have one of these, right? Pocket bell. A pager? Yeah, I do have one, actually. Okay, then take this and give it to the caretaker. It sucks that he's getting mad for no good reason, right? Huh? But isn't this yours? Hey, what are you two up to? Nothing. Anyways, my parents forced me to carry one and it's nothing but a nuisance. But I can't just throw it away either, so give it to the caretaker. It's a win-win. Alright, thank you. Feels like I missed something here. It's nothing. Mind your own business, old man. Hey, hey. Adults have feelings too, you know? Sorry, I'm late. I had to buy food and other things for my stay. Hmm, I'm starting to get hungry. I'll borrow the kitchen and make myself something to eat. So why? Interior map of the building. It's still the same. First floor. Floor. And third floor has private rooms. Okay. Here's the kitchen. Oh, hi, Kotaro. Um, I brought some groceries, so I can cook myself something here. So, oh, can I cook myself something here? Sure, don't burn yourself. Thank you, and... Do you want to eat together? I can cook us something. I ate already. I see. But maybe next time. And there isn't much. Just make sure you have enough to eat. Alright. I wish I had more to cook with. I should have caught a fish for dinner. I mean, I tried. Why were you so late today? Miko and I found the lost child on our way back, so... Wait, were you actually waiting for me outside this whole time? Anyway, I'm really sorry for being out so late. If I ever go out shopping again, I'll be sure to let you know first. Oh, right. 
Here, this is for you. Mika wanted you to have it. Oh, my head hurts. <sighs> It's a pager. I have one too, so this way we can get in touch easily. Now, if I'm going to be late, I can just message you. Koto takes the pager. He was making kind of a weird face. And does he cook for himself too? He put something back in the fridge just now. Was that from his dinner? But I wonder what it was. Some sort of local dish? No use guessing. There's still a lot I don't know about this place. I have to keep looking tomorrow so I should get some rest. Truly so kind. It's been so long since I've been outside that cell. I've never expected for you for you to help someone as shameful as me. I wish to spend my last moments where my children are buried. Here we are. A lake? This lake is where many of our children sleep. That's strange. I think I had some kind of dream. I tried to remember it. Everything seems fuzzy. But I feel like I slept well for the first time in a while. It's probably because I walked around the village so much yesterday. But I feel a little better today. Alright, I should try asking Kotaro if he can lend me more room keys. I sent chapter 2. Huh? He's not here. Maybe he's eating breakfast? Where does he eat breakfast? Okay, yeah, he knocked already. It's locked. That was a waste of time. Um... I know you're cooking, but there's something I wanted to ask. I can't help you. Oh, but it's about the archive. There are a few rooms I haven't been able to look in yet. If it's okay, could you lend me the keys to those rooms? I'm sorry to always ask for favors, but this would help me finish quicker. Oh. That's all I can lend you right now. That's true, you're in the middle of cooking. There's still some stuff left from the previous owners in the third floor room. Thank you. Um, what are you making for breakfast? It looks a little bit like what was in the fridge yesterday. I've never seen this before. Is it a local dish? It's a fried egg. Oh, I see. The eggs in Azakawa village really black like that? She's been cooking that egg forever. Shouldn't it be burnt by now? Um, the spare keys are for the kids' room. 
Oh, and the room on the third floor that I haven't been that I haven't been in yet. He said there was some stuff left there, so I should go back to that room first. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know if I like him or not, because you know he's kind of weird. I mean, you never know though, right? Because he could be weird and. Like, cause he, I feel like he hasn't been weird in the creepy way, he's just been, like, silent, right? Cause I feel like there's like a backstory that we don't know about. I mean, apparently he lost his parents at a young age, so... I guess, like, his, uh, like, I, I think his, like, a speech is due to that, or, or like, a similar, a similar thing. So there was stuff there, so I should go check that room first. True, yeah. Sorry, but I think I have the key. Whoa, this room is covered in dust. But... This has all been left untouched. I'm sure there's still some of mom and dad's stuff here somewhere. <clears throat> this is full of old newspapers. Whoa, that's amazing. Some some are from 50 years ago. Wow, was that interesting in stuff like this? What else were you gonna do 50 years ago? This is nothing but dust in it. Huh? I think it smells a bit like mom's cosmetics. It's just my imagination. I think it smells like more than just dust. What's this? There's the cloth in it, on it. Wait, hold on. Before I do. Just dust and stationery. It's just ordinary shit, stationary, but maybe it belonged to mom or dad, though I wouldn't know. What's this? It's a really old small box. There's a lock on it. But I don't see the key. And I can't turn the mirror, alright. There's a cloth on it. Let's do it. Whoa, that's a lot of dust. <laughs> a white dress? Is it a wedding gown? Oh! Is this mom's? A wedding dress? Yeah. It's so pretty. So, all that's in this room is that locked box and mom's wedding dress. But, even if it's just this much, I'm glad. Since mom and dad got married, and then gave birth to me. They were happy to have raised me. Oh, were they happy to have raised me? I'm not sure what I'm feeling. Oh, I still have the spare key to the kids' room. I should go take a look in there too. What was that again? That's the emergency exit. Or is it? Yes, it is. Okay. 
Wait, is this it? It's locked. I don't think I have a key for it. Shit. Here? I think I have the key. Alright. So this is the kids' room. It's kind of cute. There's a bulletin board with Azakawa Village's schedule of events. Wow, there's a lot of events like rice planting and festivals. So the festival's tomorrow. I wonder if I'll be at the... I wonder if it'll be at that, at that shrine. Are these pictures from the festival? Look old and in black and white. It's a photo of people praying at the festival. It's titled The Village Guardian's Prayers. There's a picture of a young man and it says Keichiro Kanzaki. So this is a picture of my grandfather when he was young. Then maybe there's a picture with my dad's name on it. I don't think there is one. They're from many different years. Huh? On the bottom, there's a warning. This photo belongs to the Azakawa Shrine. Writing on it or, remo or removing it is prohibited. If I go to the shrine, maybe I'll find some more pictures. I might be able to find out more about my dad. There's a collection of children's books. One of the books seems to be an old, an old handmade picture book. Don't go into the forest. Read. Handmade picture book. Don't go into the forest. Don't go into the village forest. The talking, the taking spirit likes children, so it'll eat you if you go in the forest alone. If you're not alone. I'll make you a promise. You, your friends, and everyone you know will be put through sadness and pain. So you can't think there's no such thing as spirits. The taking spirit eats things that are precious to you. That's why you can't go into the forest. Written and illustrated by Kotaro. That sure is an effective way of keeping kids out of forests. Did the caretaker draw this when he was a kid? It's weird. But... These scenes... Feel kind of familiar. What was I doing when I was that age? I can barely remember. I wonder, how long has their caretaker been he been living here? Is someone at the door? I don't care. Anyway, stamp. I want I want the stamp. Monsieur stamp and ink pad. It's probably for the stamp rally. Oh, what's this? There's a small bottle with a pebble that glows bluish white inside. Gr take it. Take it. What the fuck? Uh. I thought someone was at the door. I guess it's at the front door. Wrong door. Uh, uh, I don't know. I can't read that. You know, I and ah, big sis. Ai, what are you doing here? So I... Um... So...
What was I gonna say? Are you by yourself? Where's your dad? I walked here by myself. I see. You came here by yourself. Yeah. And I can't read his writing. Um, I think she's lost. This happened yesterday too. Big sis, let's play. You promised yesterday. I'll call the police. Huh? Yeah, good idea. Her family must be worried. Hey, what game are you gonna play? Are you... Let's play together until someone comes to get you. Really? Wow. And then... Uh, huh? Are you? What's wrong? Over there. I hear a voice over there. A voice? From outside? I don't hear anything. I gotta go. Are you? Wait! Where are you going? Uh, wait, I'm controlling her now. To the mountain? Okay. What's this rock? None may enter Mount Kinobody. Mount Kinobody? I wonder what its name means. I can't reach. I can't get through. Are you? Big sis. Can't just run off like that. Even the side said you can't go to the mountain. It's dangerous. Let's go home. But it's calling me from there. No, it's not. I don't hear anyone. But. Look. It's. Right there. What are we gonna see? What are we gonna see? Nothing. Th there's nothing there, so let's head back. I don't wanna. Big sis, it's calling me. Stop! We're just going back to the archive. I don't wanna. Ah, uh, are you? Wait! Wah! Are you? That did not sound like a child crying. That sounded more like a like a like a dog whimpering. Kotaro. No, let me go. I wanted to go to the forest. She just keeps saying that. But I don't hear anything from the forest. Kotaro is a lifesaver? Yeah. And this mountain is off limits, isn't it? It's dangerous. But it's calling me. Come on. Literally, yeah. Kotaro. No, I'm not going home. Wait. Hey, what are you doing with Vaiko? Jeez, I slept so well last night. H huh? What are you mad for? I'm the one who should be mad. Why wouldn't I be mad seeing you with my daughter while she's crying? You wanna go? I won't lose to you. 
All you people without parents are exactly the same. Please calm down. Your daughter is scared and crying. Ayu, you'll be okay. Mama. I want my mama. A Aiko. Hey! Hey, wait, Kotaro! Um, please don't get the wrong idea. Kotaro was with Aiko because she she was lost. <laughs> Aiko, Papa's sorry for yelling. Hey, Papa? Does that mean... not have a mama either? Just like me. N not just like you, Aiko. You and him aren't... Uh, Aiko. I'm sure you have your reasons, but... Please, be more careful about what you say. Aiko, let's go home. Grandma's looking for you too. Are you? Your family's worried about you. I hope I will be okay. First yesterday, now today. I wonder what's going on. Of course she wants to see her mom. She's even younger than me. I'm sure she's even more lonely too. Tell no, Officer Motsuk. Ah, uh, hold on. Oh, my bad. I should tell Officer Motsuki about Ayo. And just to be safe, I should go tell him in person. That's Officer Motsuki's back. Maybe he's at the shrine. I said, there's a crack in the stone. I wasn't there this morning. That's why we thought it might be someone who's doing the festival preparations. Yeah, we gotta find out who did this. Don't get so heated up about it. This is why the elders are always so suspicious. How did the fright... How did the firefighter end up injured? We can't have people going on such some witch hunt. So we talked about all spying, we, we talked about saying that we were all reasonable. Then we all got into a scuffle. And did anyone come forward? No. Of course no one's gonna come forward. That's why we started saying that it didn't matter who did it. No, you can't just do that. That's why you go into a fight. You foolish youngins. You don't even fear the forest. The guardian's gone. And now the stone's cracked. This is a thing to be feared. God save us. God save us. God save us. So there was a fight. I'm glad it's over now. It sounded a little scary. Oh, it's you. I see. So that's what happened. Sorry, I couldn't get, I couldn't get to the archive. I was sure Miyako was just up to no good again. Huh? Didn't Kotaro contact you? Oh yeah, but Kotaro's calls are always just silence. But I think a call during opening hours is strange. Hold on. That call wasn't Miyako. Where is she? 
Is Miku missing again? Yeah, she is. If you find her, would you let me know? Yes, of course. Oh, right. Maybe you'll to look around the shrine now. You want to look around the shrine? Yes. Actually, there might be pictures of my family in there. I see. That's great. But everyone's kind of on edge now, so you might want to steer clear. And the door to the main shrine building is locked. Oh, it is? Now what should I do? Well, no one owns the shrine. The villagers take turn managing it now. Whose turn was it this month? I don't remember which villager was the... Uh, was the key right now. I'll look it up later. I'll let you know. Really? Thank you. I'm sure Officer Mutsuki's been... Mutsuki's busy. I should ask around the village. That scared me. What was that pager? What are you doing? Oh, it might be from Kotaro. Come back to the archive. Wonder if something's wrong. Bring some snacks too. What? S snacks? He sends some pretty strange messages. But he went out of his way to message me. I should reply to him. Um, I need a payphone to reply. I think it was this way. Never mind. Let's go to a fucking payphone. It's not we're not, we're not payphone. It looks like it's on the sus legs. Alright, I should reply to the message. First I'll say, okay. Them. And what should I ask? So it's juicy, crunchy, soft, sweet, spicy. Okay, I'll send this. Now when he responds, I'll know what snacks to get. Um, should probably end the stream soon actually. Because, um, we're reaching 11 hours, and usually I tend to end the stream around 11 hours, because 12 hours is the, is the maximum amount of hours that YouTube, uh, gets, like, it saves a VOD for. Oh, I got a response. Sweet. Wow, so he likes sweet things. But since I got a reply, I can buy snacks at the store anytime. First I want to do this, hold on. Wherever he is. Uh, I'll talk to them later. Uh... Where was he? I don't remember. It wasn't here. Not here either. So, I think it was down here. Uh, and it was like a weird corner, right? Or... No? Maybe it was over here, and then... And then you go up here. Yes, there you go. Wait. Uh, 
Listen to this, our chicken laid break a break kind of egg today. Doesn't have for any of would you care to take care of some of our egg? Yeah. Maybe it's those black eggs I saw this morning. Sure. I was just about to let the chickens out. Oh no. The chickens got excited and ran away. I guess they're scared since you're a stranger. Nah, I'm just too hot. Huh? Scared enough to jump over a fence? Could you please go get our chickens back? These old legs aren't up for chasing them down. There are seven adult chickens and one chick, so eight in total to catch. I'll collect the eggs while you take care of that. There you are. Got a chicken. Alright, well, we just gotta grab Cox. Oh. So, about the food stall for the festival this year. What, didn't we already decide what the main dish... What the main stall would be? Well, my husband was hospital hospitalized yesterday. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. Wait, I just remembered there was someone I wanted to watch five hours ago, but I don't think they're alive anymore. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. But now, who will be our cook this year? We're all busy ourselves and my husband can't cook. Right, not to mention there aren't many women helping either. Are there any other men in the village who are good at cooking? Were you eavesdropping? If you have time for that, you find a man from the village who can cook. Really? You'll find someone for us? Well then, please, send us three potential cooks. And then we'll interview them all. So make sure to bring the best candidates. No shot search request updated. He's asleep. Look, here's the real thing. It doesn't shine, but... Uh, worthless if it doesn't shine. I'll give you a discount. Oh, I fell asleep. I dreamt about when I was a jeweler. Great chef. What? A chef for food stall? Yeah, I can make some pretty fancy dishes. I wouldn't mind making everyone a special dish for everyone. Okay. Apparently, it means snake, but why would they name a normal small river like this one after a snake? Sorry, I'm not so good at cooking. There's a cock. Oh, check. Wait. Oh, there, there's the chicken. Got a chicken. There's another chicken. He 
Ishiara River is so beautiful every day. This is a river that was used a long, long ago to wash luminous stones from the from the vines, from the mines. That's why it was named Stone Washing River. The mines are black near the forest. It's almost, it's almost abandoned, but it's now off limits. Luminous stones are truly sacred. You see, the village mascot Lumilock. It's cute, but its mere existence is a complete mockery. You're of my age now. Hurry up and marry a good man. Uh, you do this every day. I don't want to. I introduce you to someone. I like playing matchmaker. Uh, people don't do that anymore. Just you old people from the countryside. But, okay, Grandpa. If you can't find anyone today, I promise I'll stop you. I prom promise you'll... Wait. But if we can't find anyone today, promise you'll stop. Alright, leave it to me. It's time to match up the final couple of my life. What are you planning on doing about your work in the paddy? Uh, if I slack off, your grandma will get mad. I know. Did you bring some young men over here for us? You're young and cute, so... I'm sure you can easily get the young men in the village to follow you. I ain't trust if this final matchup to you. I heard the sacred, sacred stones back here uh, shine a little bit on rainy nights. But all this never holds a festival in the rain. Villagers hardly ever go outside on rainy days like... Like, on rainy days in the first place. Not most people have ever even seen it shine. And now it's cracked too. Nothing like this has ever happened. Oh, the key to the main building? I don't know, I didn't need to use it today. Try matchmaking. What are, you, what are you looking for a man or something? Sorry, I'm not really interested in the arranged marriage. What about chef? Cooking? Maybe if it's instant noodles. If the village... In the village, there's a terrifying folktale about rainy days. This shrine is here to protect the village from that terror. Most younger villagers don't know, but on rainy days long ago, many people... Uh... No, I think I'll stop here. Just talking about it is terrifying, but... Some young villagers think it happened eons ago. Typical young people. These days have no sense of fear. This kid being building? Why are you like? Why are you even looking for it? Why are you even looking for that? Oh, uh, anyway, I didn't need it for today, so I don't know. Request a special. I'll be busy with the shrine during the festival, so I can't. People aren't even allowed back there. So who did it? I really don't think it could have cracked like that naturally, but. I also don't think a person could simply make it crack like that either. I mean, the stone cracked all the way through. It's kind of creepy. I'm matchmaking. I'm getting married soon. She'd get mad if I cheated on her with you. Huh? You're not talking about you? Recruit as festival chef. I can only do physical labor. I don't think any of these guys are going to be all that useful. Ugh, this is awful. Of course I know how important the village folktale is. I think most villagers really do believe in it. But the elderly villagers are even more fright frightened of it. 
the younger people and council members always say you're overreacting. But saying that to the elderly doesn't do much good. You don't listen. So you can't just come forward and say, I did it. If I do, I'll just end up being ostracized. The village folk tale is scary too, but that's even scarier to me. Oh, the key? Who was in charge of, the, of this month again? Try matchmaking. I have a girlfriend in the next village, so no thanks. Uh, for Chris Festival Chef. How much food would I have to make? I don't think I've got it in me. I don't think any of these guys are going to be helpful. Let me just leave. This person's staring at me. Ah, they looked away. Okay, I guess you won't be of any help. That old woman keeps neat. Chris, festival oh. shaft. I wouldn't be of any help. Chicken. Can you please just get the chicken? Okay. I wish they'd build a super, a big supermarket or convenience store in this village. I mean, there's one next village, that's just so unfair. I say next village, but there are two mountains between here and there. An arranged marriage? I guess I am making things difficult by liking city girls so much. Yeah, I should give it a try with a girl from the village. Hello there. Today's an auspicious day. Hmm, I'm not so sure. You try and act you try and act young, but you're pretty old, aren't you? I don't want a man who's too old. Hey. Well why not? Age is important. You're right. I'll just go then. S sorry. Um Festival chef. Well, I'm not good at cooking, sorry. Don't know a thing about fishing. Seriously, nothing amazing like the big Azakawa even exists. The best this place has is a small carp. I'm not joking around. I swear I've seen it. My old master hooked it right in this very spot. You can't prove uh, you can't prove that. Who's gonna be- who's gonna believe that crap? Save that nonsense for after you hook something big. Uh, just because you always catch bigger fish than me. Fine, I'll show you. I'll catch the big Azakawa. But I really have no luck with fishing. Hey, you fish too, right? Not really. Catch the big- big Azakawa, will you let me know? Huh? What's the big Azakawa? Do you not know the biggest fish in this lake? Pulling up a big strong fish that seemed impossible with your own rod. There's nothing cooler than that. It's like a fisherman's dream. My master caught the thing all on his own. He was a kid at the time, but he prioritized his dream over own work. But I can't do much if people keep saying that fish don't even exist. 
That's why I, I need to prove that the big as a cow exists. I'm counting on you. I sense you've got a real talent. You're fucked. Mm -hmm. You. You look like someone important. This lunch is so good. I'm actually pretty picky about food. This restaurant's food is kind of plain, but I really enjoy it. Try my- What? Me? Well, I guess I'll go check it out. I'm pretty picky about both food and people. Fluffier. Why someone like that? Grandpa, you can't just judge based on looks or first impression. That's true. I shouldn't judge. Um... I see you wandering around the village. What's your job? Um, my parents own an apartment building in the city. So I'm just enjoying life with the rent we, we get from tenants. Uh, oh my, is that so? How wonderful. Um, I'm sorry, but can I go home now? You're just not my type. Oh! Well, excuse me. Who wants a freeloader like you anyway? I think I upset her. But... I thought it was better than lying. And you know what? I prefer someone cuter and oof, fluffier. The type you want to take care of. Damn! Never mind. It's so good. Recruit a special chef. Mm, a food store chef. Well, sure, why not? I'm the only one with refined taste in this area anyway. I remember for Mill Chef Search. Is that my third one? Right? And this is the last chicken, right? Got a chicken. I caught all the chicken chickens. I'll bring them to the old man. The lake really is a boring place. I doubt the big as a cow even exists. I've never even seen a shadow that that big. How can she carry all those chickens? Like, what the fuck? Um, I don't know. She's eating them all like Kirby, and then she can spit them out. That's how. Fishing in the mountain streams might even be more fun than this. There's salmon, trout, but it's hard to fish up there. Uh, you look like a chef. My wife and mother always cook for me, so never mind. You're the exact opposite. Try matchmaking. Sorry, I'm married. Right, he just said he has a wife. I don't know how I forgot about that. Today's the day I catch the big Azakawa. Oh, I got something. Oh, I think this is it. Um, this is that Lumi Luck doll that the town hall made, right? Try matchmaking. What? I don't have time for that. Damn. Don't even tr don't even consider it. Get a special chef. I can't cook. Can't even cut the fish I catch. God damn it. You know what? Right here. I feel like this guy has a... Oh! It's right there! Please get over here. No, I don't want you. I, it doesn't even... It doesn't even work. What? No, 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 no. I want to reset that. Can I load? I want to. I want to. I want to load. How does this work again? Can I just, uh... 
Well, it's nice, but it's very windy. Perhaps it'll be very cloudy tomorrow. There are lots of rivers and lakes in that area. So we have a rough floods every year. Learn how to fish. So first we want to fish. The difficulty and types of fish you catch change depending on the fishing spot. You can ask the other fishermen on the, on the pier before you start fishing to get some tips. Press the X key if you want to move to a different spot. Keep pressing confirm to reel it in. How the fuck do I get that? Maybe let me try and move to a different... There's the big fish. What? Oh, okay, never mind. What the fuck does it not work? There goes the bait. I swear I'm. Why is the fishing minigame just so god awful? Let me try here, maybe. There's the big fish. Get over here. Get over here, you fucker. Get over here. Get over- I see you, you fucking bastard. Get over here, you fucking cunt. Are you joking? Come on. Get over here. God damn it. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, I realized my mistake. Cut a bit bitterling. I mean, at least I caught a fish, so let's save. No, I want to. Nate, can I please interact? Fish. Let's fish here. Where is the? Where's that fish, motherfucker? There, uh, he's all the way to the corner. Okay. Well, he's not getting here anytime soon, is he? Pick another spot. Oh my god, he's right there. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Oh my- Are you joking? He literally went around that. Oh my fucking god. Come on. You're right next to it. Are you- are You- He went- He fucking went over it. No, I don't- I don't want that one though. No, go back. No, I... 
That's my def- Oh my god, why didn't I put that on? No. Okay, um... Now quit. Yes, okay, it says. Where is this cunt? It's not here. Like anywhere close. Oh my god, there he is. It's over there. Come on. Oh, that. You. You got. He. He's, oh my god, it doesn't. Are you joking? It didn't even go up. Oh my god. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. No, I'm gonna have to quit. I see it. It's over there. No, 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 I don't. I don't want that one. No way it has to be maxed for it to actually do anything. That's amazing. I'm trying way too hard for this literal irrelevant side quest. I want to do it. Where's that fucking fish? Nope, I wanna pick another. I I clicked on Fuck. I hate my life. Believe in you. I don't think you should. <laughs> Is there like a better way to okay you know what i have an idea a very funny idea but i have an idea um just let me find it real quick Mm, where is it? Where is it? I can't find it anymore. Um, found it. Okay, hold on, yeah? Get your fish on. Give me the big fish. Come on, big fish, big fish. No, no, you fucking bastard. Oh, oh. Come on, get over here, you rat bastard. Get over here, you rat bastard. Get the fuck over here, you rat bastard. Okay, wait, I found an exploit, I found an exploit. Get over here, you fucker. Oh my god, I hate this. No, why is that fish just... 
No. Out of here. Get out. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> Just curse at them. Just curse at them, it will work. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. That's what I'm best known for. Where is... This one doesn't even have it. I think this is just the best spot to do this. Oh, come on. He was right there. Oh my fucking god. Are you joking? No, 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 no. Get these fucking fish out of my face. I don't need these. Where is that? Why does it just... Wow. I hate fishing. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Tiny question. What do I say to you? Uh, red or something else? What, you mean what do you call me? Yeah, just red is fine. I mean, anything works, really. I don't really mind. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're right there. You're right there. Come on. You stupid motherfucker. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Are you kidding me? No. 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 I don't fucking accept that. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, ah, oh, shit. Hold on. There's something I need to do. Um. Okay. Nope. No, no, no. No, no, I don't. I don't, I don't. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's a big asshole, many tiny ones, yeah. And that fucker didn't even like... Wait, no. Like, just added insult to injury, like, he went for the bait and then just said no. Just said bye. They know that my idea will work. No, get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding? He's right there. He's right there, but this fucking fish went for it. I thought that if you had the menu open, it wouldn't consider it. But, but no, they just gotta make my life miserable. And I keep forgetting that. I need to interact with this fucking thing. Man, down right kind of looks like Luffy a bit. I mean, if you gave him a straw hat, I'd say so. Maybe. Oh wait, unless you- oh wait. Oh, you mean this guy. Oh shit, he does. A little bit. If Luffy wore a shirt, then yeah. No, 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 no,
No. I'm not even gonna attempt that one. Come on. You... No, 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 don't... Okay. Okay, please, you're right there. You are... No, get out. All right. Go. <laughs> Come on, please, 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 please. This one isn't even worth trying. <sighs> Come on. Just... Just... Grab the fucking... It's not that hard. You're just a dumbass fish. Just... Just grab the... The... The, the bait. You moron. No, 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 you fucking bastard. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. So that this game is so good, really breathtaking, yeah. So good, it makes me want to cry. The big one always spawn at the bottom right and is that slow oh my god get that fucking thing mm. get over here get can you stop walking backwards what what is wrong with you Please, please, you, you literally go, oh my god, this fucking fish. I think it went so, I, I, like, it went so out of bounds that, like, I, it's not even worth trying. Is this just an unlucky spot to fish? Is that why he can't get any? Story of his life? <sighs> Come on, he's right there. Just get and just... No. Leave. Okay. Why did they put a fishing mini game? Why? Oh, 
can. I want to kill myself. I swear, this game is just pure RNG. Like, I literally... There is literally no way to... Like... To... Get anything. This fucking fish. No, no, no! Wait, I can- I should do- what? How did I show the- okay. I literally can't get it anymore. Like, it literally just does not want to work. Let's see how long this- Can you level up in fishing or update the thing into- I don't think I can. Don't. I don't think I can. It doesn't seem like it gave me the option to do that. Yeah, safe to say that that will work. Also, what did I get? Literally nothing. Okay. No, you fucking... Oh my god! What? I literally... Oh, it's fine. Who cares? Please get that. Oh my god. Why? Get out. Out. Fucking. Piss off. Okay. There's just no way to get it. Please. 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 please, please. Please, please, please. I hate my life so much. 
come you're right there you you're literally I swear they literally made to avoid the bait like literally they, like it's like I said the, the chance of it actually like going in your favor must be like like 0.2 percent wait What is this luck? Or lack of? Oh my god. Oh my god, the fucking fish is right there! Turn around! Turn around! Turn your fucking ass around! Oh my god. Oh my god. doesn't help like at all no I just uh... technically right oh never mind I press the wrong button okay please Oh my god, this fucking fish! You're right there. Oh my fucking god. Please, you're right there. You are right there. Why? Why are you so retarded? You were... It was literally an, a pixel away. And now this fish is gonna take it. Oh my god. My life in a nutshell, by the way. My life in a nutshell. Life is like that's that's a good but like a good example. You wanna know what my luck looks like? Well there you go, that's what it is. Why is the big one all the way over there? Get the f Get your fat ass over here. Just, just... Are you... Oh my god. Oh, I'm so fucking done. Oh, I'm so done with this bullshit. Come on, just... No, 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 get out. Cool. 
You fucking bastard, you're right there. This fish is gonna take it anyway. Come on. Come on. Please, you're literally on the wood. Then you want to end stream before the 12 hour mark? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the it's still before the 12 hour mark. Like, as long as I don't get above the 11 hour 55 mark, that's fine. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, please, please, are you just... His sprite was literally overlaid with a fucking dot. Please, please, listen, you're right there, please, just, just grab it, just grab it, you're, it really is a horror game, oh yeah, on so many levels, this motherfucker is basically on land at this point, come on, oh my god, This one's just slow and will like never approach it.
Don't want to need it. I want to kill myself. It's so fucking bad. My life is so fucking shit. I only have 15 minutes left. I would really love for that big fish to get over here right now. And you know how happy I would be right now. Come on. Please just take the bait! No. No. Just... Not at all. Come on. Come on, you're right there. You're right there. You... You, you might as well just check it out. See what it is. You... No, you fucking prick! Oh, you fucking cunt! Oh! This is a big bastard. Yep. You can say that again. In fact, you can say that like three, uh, three more times. No, no, get the. Fuck out of my face. Get the, who said you could be here? Who allowed you? Yeah. Come on, you're right there, you're right there, you're right there. No, oh my god, did you? I... Oh my god, I didn't even start the goddamn game. Get over here. Get over here. When oh, you're right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. 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 Whoa. I caught the big Azakawa. Oh my god. You're amazing.
Yeah, and I had to resort to an auto clicker too because fuck that. You think I was doing that legit? No, that was that was painful enough as it was. It's so big. It may as well be the big as power. That's crazy. I didn't think there were even fish that big in this lake. How about that? Like I said, right? That is pretty amazing. Should have been fishing more seriously here too. I'm just sad I wasn't able to, I wasn't the one to catch it. Yeah, I bet. What are you talking like that for? Pub? Well, I'll admit that the big Azakawa really did exist. But the one who caught it was this girl, wasn't it? True. That makes our race a draw. We gotta get better at fish so we don't lose to this girl. He's right. You're the one who's amazing for catching the big Azakawa. You really got a knack for fishing. You remind me of our old master. Our master and now you. Now I have another fisherman to look up to. We'll catch the big Azakawa someday too. Here, take this as a thanks for motivating us. Fishing ticket obtained. We. The other fisherman sure had a lot of motivation. Alright, time to return the big Azakawa to the lake. Why? You didn't need to. I put the big Azakawa back in the water and it swam away frantically. Yeah, alright. The new star of fishing was added to bookmarks. <laughs> yeah, cool. I am never doing that again. Yep. All right. Cool. Yep. That. That's it. That. No. Nope. All right. I'm done. I'm done. Bullshit. That. All right. See you. Uh. Some pro. To. To. to uh, shut up. Okay. Uh. Yep. All right. All right. See ya. All right. Cool. It's. It's almost. Eleven. It's eleven forty-seven minutes. So. Uh. Bye.